Arby's Josh here. And today, I want to show you how to fix the most annoying problem with the Chevrolet Volt. So if you're a Volt owner, you probably have experienced this before, where you hop in your Volt, um, um, I think you would turn on, it comes on, you know, and everything. Um, you probably drove it maybe out of the driveway or something. You parked it in the road for a little bit or something. You did something. Maybe you went to the store or something and you shut the vehicle off. You drove it to your place, you shut the vehicle off. And then you forget to take your key or you just don't want to take your key. You want to leave your key in, which I don't advise, but say you, you just want to leave the key in. You come out, you get out of the vehicle and you shut the door and it honks at you. Now, you know, some people like this feature because they're like, oh, I forgot the key and thanks for reminding me, you know? But then, you know, some people that want to leave the key in the car, which, you know, some people do, um, and it honks at them, they're like, I know, don't honk at me. They don't like this loud um, reminder um, and everything. So I'm gonna show you how to turn it off because I think a lot of people want to turn off this feature. So really, it's pretty easy. And thankfully there is a way to shut it off so let's go ahead and show you how all you have to do is come over here to the screen here now you can have the key um, with you or you don't as long as you can get into the vehicle you can do this you can either just press this here to turn on the screen and that screen will come on after a couple seconds here or you can always just turn on the vehicle if you want to but as long as you have control to this um, infotainment system here go to config so again go back here to start you want to go and press this button here and go to config and then you're going to want to scroll down you can either scroll down or touch the screen if you want whatever you prefer but go down to vehicle settings go down to vehicle settings here where it is right here press that Go down to remote lock and unlock start. Press that. And then scroll down to remote left in vehicle reminder. And all you have to do is just press this and it'll be gone. So then the next time that you do this, you go home and you turn on your vehicle. And then start up this time. But anyways, um, so you start it up and then you shut it off. Yeah, you shut it off. You open the door and you go. It doesn't honk at you anymore. So that's how you fix the problem. If you don't like it, um, you know, you can shut it off. So that's just want to show you guys to let you know that you can shut this feature off if you don't like it. Um, you know, some people it just really annoys them this feature so you can shut it off if it bothers you um, with us we're gonna leave it on it's kind of a nice feature to um, have to, um, so you don't forget the key in here so I'm gonna go back on here show you one more time if you didn't get it right how to turn it back on because I'm gonna turn this thing back on because we want the feature on so um, yeah you can turn on the screen or you can either turn on the vehicle I'm just gonna turn on the screen I'm gonna go to home here, from there, press the side button, press config, and I'm gonna scroll down, or you can just touch vehicle settings, and you're gonna to go to remote, lock, and unlock, start, and then you're gonna scroll down to remote, left in vehicle, and you can either press this button or touch the screen. And you'll see it's check marked there. So that means you want this feature enabled. So there it is, so the feature is on. Now that it'll honk at you now when you leave the key in the vehicle. So anyways, that's just a quick video guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button below. Check out some of my other videos and Lord willing, we'll see you next time.